everything changes. Hey, what's going on guys? Happy weekend. We're almost to the end of it. Uh, today's the 14th, so tomorrow we'll start the second half of November. I figured I'd do a what sold video for you guys. I try to only do like one or two of these a month, not to overdo it. We're up to almost um, 11 and change, 11,000 and change 90 day total. This month's going to be about a 4,500 to $5,000 a month for eBay. It's kind of been slow, but um, again, we restarted the store in June, so uh, we did Get it up to this number, you know, my goal by the end of the year was hopefully to be between eight and 10,000 in December. Uh, looks like we're gonna fall a little short. Where, you know, the goal, I hope, to do six or 7,000 in December. I'd love to do eight, um, but we'll see. Anyways, uh, we're trying to get that average sale price up, trying to get those listings up, trying to get more stuff rolling. We're gonna start sourcing different ways. We still have all of our bulk inventory coming in, and um, we're gonna start adding to that to get some more high dollar items rolling onto that. So without further ado, I'll take you over um, to the eBay store which is linked below as well. It's called Treasure Chest FL for Florida. Treasure Chest FL, uh, if you wanna take a look at it after the video uh, or during the video, and um, I'll show you some of the items that we've sold, how much we get, and uh, how much we paid for them, less the fees, the shipping. I'll give you the whole gross and the whole profit. So let's go over there and take a look what's sold on eBay, uh, October to November, 2021. Okay, so I just brought you into the eBay uh, app here, and you guys can see it's about an $11,000 total, 498. We have 1,154 active. We have 652 in current, current funds. So you can just click the sold button if you're on your app, and then you can see. So we sell a lot of remotes. There's no secret, 50, 60% of our stores uh, remotes easily. $15 remote, $7.65 remote. So full transparency, our cost of goods is around 50 cents a remote. So when you sell a $15.30 remote, you're about 350 to ship it. So we're about $4 for every remote. We got our 50 cents and then we got our 350 label. We know it's gonna cost to ship most remotes. Some of them are $3, some of them are $4. It's about a 350 average. So that's $4 coming off of every remote for the cost of the label and the cost of goods. And then most of your fees can range anywhere from like a dollar to $3. So a dollar 51 is gonna be close to two bucks. So we're gonna lose around, I don't know, give or take about six dollars so that leaves us like a 930 profit and down there on the 765 we don't like to sell stuff that cheap but otherwise they're just going to get thrown in the trash so we might as well make three or four dollars on those because we're about a dollar fee and we're about uh, four dollars for cost of goods and the shipping label so that's five leaving us two dollars and 65 cents not great but it is what it is so let's continue on um, again that's a boys t-shirt we didn't want to just throw it away uh, you know so eight dollars we could make lots it is what it is Here's a champion women's sweatshirt. We paid about two to three dollars for that. It's gonna cost, it is first class, but it's like 15 ounces. So it's gonna be about 550 to six dollars to ship that first class 15 ounces. Um, so we're about eight dollars, eight fifty plus the two fifty in fees. So we're about eleven dollars off of that. We're only gonna make about eight bucks, nine bucks. Uh, again, the Tommy shirt, two, three dollars. We've been just pushing out a lot of our lower end items to get rid of them. Um, we sold some mech jeans. Uh, for 29 bucks, Mech does okay. It's They're about 25 to $35. Um, we paid around $3 for that. They're gonna be seven or $8 to ship, so that's 11, and then about $4 in fees, 15. Um, so that's gonna be about $14 in profit on the Mech jeans. You can get 35 for them. They used to be 40, 45, but not anymore. Again, more of our remotes in the 16s, the 12s, the 15s, all of our remotes, we average on the lower end, we hope to make at least five or $6 profit. On the higher end, we hope to make eight to 10 on most of these lower ones. So we average about nine bucks per remote in profit. That's kind of our hope. Uh, most of our clothing items we paid two or $3 for. So on like a shirt like that, we probably make about seven, $8. On a Columbia um, puffer vest, we can hopefully make about 12 to 14. And then we mix in the higher dollar items to kind of help it out. So a $28 remote, if you're talking about $4 for cost of goods and a label and $3 for fees, that's seven, that leaves us $21. So we can profit, you know, that $20, $21 on as many as possible. Uh, the True Religion jeans, they only sold for $20. We've had those jeans for like two years, could not give them away. Thought about putting them on another platform. I should have, probably could have got 25 to 30. They're just a bad combination of everything. Like, all the comps on this size, model, style, dark wash was just really low. A Tommy Bahama sweater for $26, pants for $22, um, a watch that we sold for $30 that we only have a couple bucks in, 
and then you know more and more of these remotes that we're just trying to get rid of the lower dollar ones, but it's all bulk and volume, right? So we do sell a lot, like look, here's a 23, here's a 50, 15. So it all mixes in a $45 one, you know, more 18s and 12s. We sold a lot of Polaroid cameras for 125 that I paid 50 bucks for. So that's 75 less the fees and shipping. We made about $50 on that. Um, the $75 Toshiba DVD VCR combo, we paid 13 for it. It cost us 20 to ship. So that's 33. It costs us about 10 in fees. So that's 43. We got to make $32 on that one. So you can immediately see we made $32 and $50 on these two uh, electronic items, that would have took four or five of the other items. So definitely try to target those higher dollar priced items and you can make more money on less listings. We just do it because we have balk, right? So you'll just see more and more of these remotes and it's okay, you know, here's an $89.99 one. So yeah, we're gonna make four, five, ten dollars on a whole bunch of them but we're gonna make 20 and 30 dollars on quite a few of them as well and so our average profit and our average sale price comes out to being close to 25 dollars and our profit comes out to being close to 13 or 14 and that's really our target because we know every hundred items we're making 13 14 hundred dollars so you know you want to make five grand well you need to sell about 400 items a month and that's really kind of the plan there and that's profit five thousand clear because we've included the cost of goods the fees the labels almost everything out the door with the you know the exception of a few expenses. So hopefully that gives you a little inside behind the scenes look into how we do it on our um, store six months after reopening. And we hope uh, that we can get this total um, you know from 11,030 up to about uh, 13, 14,000 um, by the end of this month and then hopefully in the 16, 18 thousand dollar range. Uh, by the end of the year. If we could get to a 20,000 night a day total, that'd be great. We're going to start mixing in those higher dollar items and hopefully it happens. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them down below in the comment section. Make sure you guys check out My Reseller Genie, also full accounting inventory and uh, account management bookkeeping program for you guys. Super amazing. I will link them below. Check out the video showing them off, highlighting what they do, and they can certainly help you get your numbers right for your CPA or for your own tax purposes. Thank you to everyone for watching. Please hit that like button. It really helps the YouTube algorithm turns that thumb blue. And share this video with anybody that you know that's interested in reselling. As always, I appreciate you guys watching, subscribing to the channel, and I'll see you next time.